is great challenge in being able to survive. So at this point, any you know non-application of these higher thoughts will only result on all the gurus and the rest of the people not making it, <laughs> right? So that, I assure you, and I'll give you another example, because it's so important. You sit and meditate and you go and visit Alpha Centaurus, okay, let's say, or you go and orbit Jupiter in your consciousness, okay, that's great. But I assure you that if I landed a craft in your backyard, opened the door, took you on, and brought you to Jupiter, or brought you to Alpha Centaurus, or brought you to the other side of the galaxy, your level of consciousness would go through leaps and bounds, okay? The level of consciousness of a civilization is always attached to their capacity to reach new fractal scale of relationship to their world, new understanding, new perspectives, right? All the astronauts that went to space that saw the Earth from a different perspective came back changed. Um, you know, when we start to be able to travel around the world, we came back changed. When uh, we were just rocks, and then there was a little water, right? It was just minerals, and then there was a little water, and then the minerals got with the water, and eventually with the rocks started to be able to move. That's you and me, right? And as we were able to move, we learned more, and our consciousness grew. So what I'm saying to you is that it's all the same. The device is you, you are the device. It's all the same. And the feedback between the external world and the internal world is crucial. One is just as important than the other. And any one of them that's not present is an imbalance in the consciousness. If you were to tell me this, in the context of living in a cave without clothes, without anything, without showers, without anything, and you were able to have that level of consciousness, right? Then I would say to you, I'm wrong, okay? But the fact is, is that the, the reason why you're even evil able to have a level of consciousness that allows you to have the time to have these spiritual thoughts and everything else, is because there's a level of technology that supports that. I totally agree. Yeah. So, but, but isn't ultimately... Ultimately, ultimately you never need technology, and ultimately, and ultimately, technology never needs you. Okay? However, if there was a moment in the universe that this would happen, it would be the end of the universe because nobody would be learning anymore. So the two are always linked. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for your time tonight. RVML Resource Center is a volunteer-operated federal 501c3 tax-exempt nonprofit organization. RVML is dedicated to providing easy access to a comprehensive collection of information on a variety of metaphysical, spiritual, and personal development subjects. RVML accepts and appreciates all donations. Material and monetary contributions are fully tax deductible. This recording is not copyrighted and permission is granted to broadcast, exhibit, or duplicate all or part of this program for non-commercial educational purposes.